Welcome to Power and Motion YouTube channel. Today this video I want to talk about fat by rack. But before I go into this topic, I just want to set the stage. Uh, most people who know Power and Motion, they're famous. We're famous for the electric bike as well as folding bike. Uh, but what people don't know about it is we actually uh, carry fat bike as well. We start carrying the fat bike since 2013. One of the reasons we got into the fat bike line is because most of our customers actually ride it in the winter time. So we do offer a different type of winter accessory and uh, you know, having a fat bike offering that allow our customer to uh, commute to work um, you know, with the fat bike in the winter time. So it's a great product mix that we want to include as part of our offering. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six different brands of rack. Uh, a couple years ago, you can't even find any rack for the fat bike market. But today, uh, there are different manufacturers uh, make different type of rack. I'm just gonna go through all the different brands that we have uh, in here. So the first one is Axiom. Uh, Axiom is basically is a, a Norco brand. So you'll be familiar with the Norco brand uh, based in Vancouver. And they basically built for either 190 or 170 dropout space. One thing I like it is uh, make out a 10 millimeter uh, aluminum tube. Uh, it does give you the adjustment right here so you can extend the, uh, the rack this way. But they also give you the single piece if so if you don't have a mounting place on two sides of the seat stay, you can, they do uh, have a middle piece that you can actually mount it in the middle. The other really nice thing about this is uh, it, they give you extra play, so this play allows you to move the rack farther back or if you don't need to move it farther back, you can just mount, mount it you know, straight up and down. Um, so this is a fat liner by Axiom. The next one is the Blackburn. Now this is a really, really interesting rack. I'm just gonna sh show you, but the, what they have done is it come in three pieces. So this piece actually come right off. So, so if you have a 170 or 190, you can adjust the width however you want it. And also the, um, right here, you can also adjust the height as well too. Uh, nice color, it's kind of have a two-tone, the aluminum color and then sort of like a gray color. Um, beautiful rack. Uh, like I say, the really nice thing about this is you can adjust the width. The next rack is the salsa rack. Really, really beautiful finish. Um, you can see the color is polish finish, and they also have the salsa logo on it. Um, it has a plate that you can uh, adjust it for different height, and also come with the extension bar. Okay, so the next rack that I have is the OMM mountain bike rack. Uh, Sometimes we short format OMM. Um, one thing that's set apart from this rack compared to the other three rack, the other three rack that I just showed you is made out of 10 millimeter aluminum tube. This is made out of 13.5 aluminum tube. So it's extremely strong. Uh, but one really neat thing about this is not just strong, but it's versatility. Uh, so they come with different foot extension. So this is a, a different foot extension that I have. So they come with different length, uh, at least three different sizes for the foot extension. But also uh, on this bar here, see if I can show it, it kind of goes like this. So this is where you're gonna mount it. Um, so you, first of all, you can make adjustments. So this can be going uh, a different length, but they come with either six, six inch, eight, 12 and 14 inches. So allow you to adjust the rack uh, either moving far, farther back or moving farther front, but also allow you to raise it higher and lower uh, to accommodate different fat bike. Um, one story I'd like to tell about the Omen Mountain Bike Rack is we have a customer uh, basically using the Omen Mountain Bike Rack, carry about six pounds of weight. And what happened is he, he, hit, he, hit, he hit a pothole. And when he hit the pothole, basically the weight goes up and come back down, right? Go through the bump. And he basically, guess what? Guess what he broke? He didn't book the rack, he actually booked the bike. Uh, so that's really interesting because the rack is so strong, they just transfer all the way down to the frame and basically it just booked where the mounting of the frame is. 
Uh, so that's a really, really good story to tell. I just called, you know, the, the owner of Old Man Mountain Bike Rack. I said, your rack is so strong that it's so robust that it actually booked the frame uh, of the fat bike. Well, we were lucky that we were able to get um, the manufacturer to honor, uh, to warranty for the, for the fat bike. So we actually, our customer got a new frame uh, replacement. But if you want a strongest rack, the Old Man Mountain Bike is probably one of the, the strongest rack on the market. Now, here's the Service 604. They just came out uh, with this new design rack. Really, really nice rack. This is actually made out of a 14 millimeter uh, aluminum tube. So it's probably one of the thickest you can find uh, on the market. Uh, one of the nice thing about, I like this rack is, number one is strong. Uh, number two is flexibility. Um, you can see this sort of crossbar. So let's just say you have a pannier back and um, normal rack, they just have the one crossbar, one crossbar on the top. So what happens is when you start putting the pannier on top of the rack and then you put something on top of it, you could not take, you know, remove it easily. You have to, you know, get your hand, finger underneath whatever that you have put on top of the rack to get to your pannier back. By having a crossbar in here, number one, it increases the structure. Number two is you can take off your penny back really, really easily, quickly. Um, so this is the um, Service 604 uh, wheel rack. The next rack that I want to talk about is the toe peak rack. What is so special about the toe peak rack uh, for the fat bike market is they have this sort of a sliding back. You basically slice it in and then you just snap in your back. So that's really, really nice. But what is so nice about this, it's also at the bottom is adjustable. Now, as you can see in the picture, you can see that this is fully adjustable. You can actually turn the extension horizontally. So what it, what it means is you can actually move the rack farther to the back. For whatever reason that you need to move your rack farther to the back to make it accommodate to your fat bike. Uh, so this is a new rack that is coming out in 2016. It's, it, if you Google search on the internet, you're not going to find this uh, particular product. But here you can actually see it, how it works. That's all. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, like this video. And if you have any question about Fat Bike Rack, give us a call or email us.